Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with modern web applications. Our viewer is curious about how to deploy a Spring Framework backend alongside an Angular 2 front on any online server. They mentioned that they are not using JSP pages for the user interface, opting instead for HTML, CSS, and Angular 2 with a clear separation between the front-end and back-end projects. They've successfully developed a simple application using Angular CLI, with the front-end running on port 4200 and the back-end on port 8080. Now they want to know how to host both components on a live server while keeping them on the same domain without merging them into a single project structure. Let's explore the best practices for deploying a Spring MVC backend and an Angular 2 front-end separately yet cohesively. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. To deploy your Spring MVC backend and Angular 2 frontend separately on the same domain, we first need to configure your server to handle both applications. Start by ensuring that your backend is set up to serve API requests. Next, you will need to build your Angular application for production. Use the Angular CLI to create a production build by running the command ngbuild-prod. This will generate static files in the dist folder. Now, you need to deploy both applications on your server. You can host the Angular static files on the same server as your Spring MVC backend. Place the contents of the dist folder into a directory that your Spring application can serve. Finally, configure your Spring MVC application to serve the Angular application. You can do this by adding a controller that maps requests to the index.html of your Angular app. With these steps, your Angular front-end and Spring MVC back-end will be accessible on the same domain. Make sure to test the deployment thoroughly to ensure everything works as expected. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To deploy a Spring backend and Angular frontend, a great approach is to use Nginx as a static file server and a forward proxy for the Spring application. Typically, the Angular CLI proxy is configured to redirect API calls from the Angular app to the Spring backend running on localhost. This means that requests to the Angular app at localhost 3000 will be forwarded to the Spring app at localhost 880 API, allowing seamless communication. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Good one.